Jackson State adds even more NFL flavor to their coaching staff. Yes, they add more NFL experience, more NFL, just NFL pedigree to their coaching staff recently. Let's talk about it right after the bumper stage. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here at the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Jackson State Coach Prime, he said the theme of this season was to dominate and finish, dominate and finish, dominate and finish. Not only because they already won the swag before, so he said that we don't just want to win the swag this time. We want to dominate the swag, and we have to finish the year winning in the celebration bowl. That has been his whole theme. He did, and he has shown that that's what he wants to do by the players that he has brought in. He has shown that that is what he wants to do by the coaches that he have brought in. And he isn't done. It doesn't look like it anyway, because now Jackson State will add a special analyst, a very special analyst, and he goes by the name of Mike Zimmer. Yes, the Mike Zimmer who was the former head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Mike Zimmer spent years in the NFL. Let me tell you exactly how many years Mike Zimmer spent in the league. <clears throat> I mean, he's been in the league for over 30 years, right? He's been in the NFL for over 30 years. <clears throat> he was a head coach in the NFL for eight years, from 2014 to 2000. In 21, so up until this last year, Mike Zimmer was the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings, defensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals, defensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons, <clears throat> defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Just a ton, ton, ton of football experience. Been in the NFL since 1994, been coaching since 1979. Yeah, Mike Zimmer, he's been doing his thing for quite a while. Been in the NFL since 94 up until this past season, so he knows every bit about the NFL from the time Prime played because he was Prime's defensive backs coach to now, to the way the NFL is ran now because he was a head coach just last year. The man brings a boatload of experience, and not only that, but he knows what the NFL is looking for. He knows what the NFL is looking for because he was just in the league. Not He don't know what the NFL, not only does he know what the NFL was looking for in the 90s, he knows what the NFL is looking for right now today, the way the game is changing. And we know that the game is changing at every position all across the board. It's becoming bigger, stronger, faster, and it's wanting elite athletes even at the quarterback position, right? So that is why bringing in a guy like Mike Zimmer to bring even his wealth of knowledge to go with the wealth of knowledge of all the other coaches on the staff, including coach, head coach Prime, Dennis Thurman, all those guys, it only boosts the program. It only helps that much more. It only, you know, adds and in, in, in continues to show that Jackson State is just a different place than a lot of places. Like Jackson State and their ability. Like this is once again one of those examples. I talked about this before. But one of those examples of Deion Sanders just being a guy that's able to do things that other coaches aren't. And it's no offense and that's no knock to other coaches at other programs. But you just don't have this access. You just don't have this ability to do some of the things that Coach Prime – is able to do simply because of what he's been able that of what he's already done. You get what I'm saying? Him being the greatest corner in the history of the league, him being an NFL pro football hall of famer, college football hall of famer, having all of these connections, both in the business world and the football world. This is just another example of things that he's able to do. That's just quite impressive. And that a lot of coaches across the country just aren't able to do. And not only did he bring in Mike Zimmer, who has his heat, the wealth, uh, this heath of knowledge about the pro football game from the 90s up until today, right? He also brought in some help with the specialists in former NFL kicker Louis Aguiar. Louis Aguiar spent 10 seasons in the NFL, and if there was one position that may have been worse than the offensive line at Jackson State, it was the specialists. It was the kickers. The kickers, the punters, they were god awful. They've been bad ever since J uh, ever since Coach Prime got to JSU. They brought in multiple kickers. They brought in multiple specialists. 
to help shore up that position. And now they're bringing in Coach Louis Aguiar, at least for the time being. <clears throat> he's going to try to help shore up that position. They've already influxed it with more talent. Now you're going to get a guy who can come in and help with technique. You get what I'm saying? Help with technique and shore up a position or a group, a position group that may have actually been worse than the offensive line. And we know how bad the offensive line was. Mike Zimmer, be a special analyst, giving guys. And, and I think Mike Zimmer, he'll be really critical. Like he's going to be helpful during this time period, right? And he's a special analyst. So he probably, he's not going to be there full time, I, I don't imagine. But he's going to be really critical and really helpful during the pre-draft process, right? Jackson State has a couple of guys, you know, preseason that we think could be prospects for the 23 draft. And then after the season, somebody or a couple of somebodies are going to emerge as potential NFL draft prospects like James Houston. Before the season, James Houston, he wasn't on draft radars. Like he was a good incoming transfer, but he hadn't done much at Florida. After the season was a completely different story. He was a legit NFL draft prospect. Mike Zimmer, being a head coach as recently as last year, is going to be help able to help JSU in any any SWAC school. If I mean, if he's that generous, but specifically JSU about what NFL teams are looking for when you're coming into the league pre-draft process he's going to be able to give you direct and exact knowledge of what nfl teams gms head coaches assistant coaches coordinators whatever are looking for for the pre-draft process that is major that is major that is major he is going to be able to help the aubrey millers of the world right the dijon warrens of the world right the different people the different really talented players if they decided to enter the 23 draft, what the coaches, what the coordinators, what the GMs are looking for and make help you more likely to have one team. Because all you need is one, one team to fall in love with you and to help you get to where you need to be. That's huge. That's major. That's something that I don't know if, if a lot of people are talking about. But I think Mike Zimmer, he's going to be cool right now during the season. But JSU got their coaching staff during the season. They got their players. They're ready to go. I think Mike Zimmer and having that special connection with him is going to drastically help during the pre-draft process, right? Because he was just directly in it as recently as last year. And, you know, his Vikings, they do a pretty good job of drafting people. You know, Justin Jefferson, he's a pretty good draft pick. <laughs> Stephon Diggs, he's a pretty good draft pick. These are draft picks made by Mike Zimmer and company. So he'll be able to help you out there. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Mike Zimmer is going to be helping out with the Jackson State program. This is what I think he'll be able to bring. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JLIT7 on Instagram and Twitter at JLIT7. We're on the road to 3,000 subs. So subscribe to the Jeff Lighty Jr. Uh, show on YouTube, Jeff Lighty Jr. on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out, and I will see you next time. Peace.